or we call the wheelie position, where are your shoulders naturally going to be? They're naturally going to be here because there's nowhere oh. for them to sit. So think about it this way: um, you have an orth you have your 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 foot. Your foot needs an orthotic, so to speak. Yeah. Your rib cage is that orthotic. It needs to sit on something for it to activate, right? Because if it's not sitting on anything, something else has to like stabilize it, and that's where pec turns on. That's where lat turns on. So basically, it says if you don't put me in the right position, I'm going to figure out a way to get this stuff get done. There. So it's neck, it's lat, it's pec. Whereas what we want to use, and the biggest movers here, are what's called your anterior serratus, so this muscle that wraps around here, and your low trap. So those are two muscles that we probably train all train so. all the time through like trap oh, raises okay. and all that kind of stuff. But I guarantee you probably feel it much more here when you do a trap raise yeah. or even through here. So the next exercise that we're going to do is to teach you how to actually activate your anterior serratus and to put yourself into a good position. So what I want you to do is kneel down on the uh, mat here. Uh, we are now in a, a nice position where her hips are kind of flexed. She's not gonna wanna get into anterior tilt here. It's almost impossible, right? Because you're sitting back on her heels. Yeah. So you're not gonna arch your back very much. For this, her elbows are gonna be on the mat. And because um, Nicole has a tendency of wanting to use her neck a lot, we're not going to go into like a hands position just yet. We're going to go from the elbows because the shorter the lever is, the more she's going to want to use the correct musculature. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So the objective here is to try and find air coming through here, okay. especially this left side. Okay. Especially this left side. We're going to start off with an exhale, and as you do, you're going to reach your sternum toward the ceiling. So breathe out. Good. Stay right there. So now you can see that her back is rounded a little bit. Her shoulder blades are starting to wrap around, right? Now, you kind of see that there's almost like a soft spot here where she lacks some flexion through her upper spine. What I want you to think about, Nicole, is I want you to push your elbows into the mat, and as you do, push yourself away as you breathe in. Good. Now hold that position, breathe out. Good, don't move. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Push your elbows into the mat as you breathe in and relax. So this is a, uh, a she's awesome athlete. Why do I know she's an awesome athlete? She knows how to get shit done in a compensatory way. The best <laughs> athletes are the ones who are the best compensators. So to get pressure into the bench or into the uh, mat here, she's leaning forward and pressing down. <laughs> what I want you to think of is it comes from here. Okay. So you're gonna push more like this. Okay. Does that make sense, Nicole? Yeah. All right, I'm going to help her out and give her give her one more tactile cue. I want her <laughs> to crush my fingers. So Nicole's going to breathe, and as she does, she's going to reach from here. Oh, yeah. Now, don't worry about rounding your back as much. Go ahead and relax this a little bit. Just give me that little bit of a push. That's it. There you go. Sit back on your heels. There. Do you start feeling this to kick on a little bit? Yeah. Okay, now hold that. The breathing will round your back for you. Breathe in. Push elbow in my hand, there. So you're driving your sternum toward the ceiling. Now breathe out. Good, push into that elbow. Good, hold it for one, two, three. Breathe in, sternum goes toward the ceiling. Keep pushing into my hand. Exhale, reach, 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 reach. Good, left abs are on. Breathe in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, reach, reach. Reach, one more time, inhale, good, there it is, reach, 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 and exhale, beautiful, and relax, okay, so, where were you feeling that one, Nicole? Here. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you felt stretching here, and you felt activation yeah. here, like that's what we want, why, because now, as she moves her arm, her shoulder blade can wrap around, and now her low trap kicks on, and now she can actually get into some kind of um, flexed position. Now, one thing that definitely kind of is probably on for Miss Nicole <laughs> is this left pec. We'll, I'll show an inhibition for her eventually, but um, in the meantime, doing some softball work, just shutting off this pec a little bit, because what we're trying to do to compensate is because the shoulders are trying to turn this way. Um, this is trying to pull her back to this way. So, um, you know, this pec and pec major is probably super, super hot for her. That feels a little tight there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do one more set with Miss Nicole. But one thing I noticed is that she dives her hands in. Can you try to keep your hands straight? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. So, so like once this. again, yep. 
and yeah, there. This might restrict things a little bit, but Maybe. that's okay. okay. All right, so I want you to think about bow tie coming back. Yep, not just down here, but this here. That's perfect. So she's going to push her elbow into the mat. Breathe in. Good. So you're almost like you're driving your bow tie to the ceiling. Exhale, left abs. Keep pushing that elbow into there. Good. Hold it. Sit back. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. On this inhale, stay relaxed. Breathe in. That's so much better. Keep pushing that elbow. Exhale, left abs. Nice. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And relax. Okay.